Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this episode we will go through a character graphics, well game graphics even, and uh, uh, character movement and how that works in uh, games. So it's not just an RPG Maker tutorial, it's more of a games in general tutorial and also Game Maker Studios. Uh, I have uh, drawn five sprites for this tutorial. Uh, they are all supposed to resemble a English, well, British uh, duck hunter. Um, I uh, made them all uh, very differently. Um, I wanted them to be the same character, but also uh, appear as if they are from completely different games. Uh, the, f the one to the far left is from uh, how I remember typical indie game characters looking like, in a way. And uh, the one next to him there is how I remember Undertale characters looking. I might be wrong, of course, but it's how I remember them. Uh, the one next to him is um, a Mario-ish English Duck Hunter from, uh, like, Super Nintendo, NES. Uh, he might... He actually looks too much like Mario, I guess. Uh, and next to him, I got a weird little thing. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's unique, at least. And, um, yeah, maybe cute, even. And next to him, again, here we have a typical a Broken Tail-style character. He looks very clayish with... Um, yeah, Almost, very shiny, his hair uh, at least, and skin, soft, nice skin, he uses nice lotion. And for those of you who ask, what is a broken tail? That's the game I'm making, there's a bad guy from it, the bad guy flag, and there's a good guy from it, with the, the good guy flag. Yeah, they got a very childish look. And yeah, over to the um, tile sets. It is important that every graphical aspect of your game matches the characters. So the tile set uh, that I've made here will only match one character, not this one. Uh, guess which one? And for those of you who guessed a broken tail, grab a golden ball of golden crystals. Um, the tile set is a bit clayish and also the a broken tail character so they would uh, fit as a glove uh, what i meant earlier about every uh, graphical aspect need to match each other is well let's use an example if you saw for instance uh, a donkey kong country character in a world like uh, super mario bros uh, 3 the character would look really weird and out of place so, try to make sure that ev every graphical aspect of the game matches uh, matches each other. Uh, like this uh, crappy, ugly looking tile set I'm making now, would only fit the characters in the middle, because it's less detailed. Uh, and so are they. Uh, the character to the far right would not fit, and the one to the far left would not fit because they have too much details for a world looking that shabby. Now over to movement. This cute little guy is the main character in my game. The middle image is the one he has when he's idle and you're not pressing any keys. His legs are still. Uh, and the image to the left is a moving one and uh, so is the one to the far right. Uh, when you press the key down button he will swap image from the one to the left and then to the far right and then to the middle left far right middle and it will go on in a loop while you're holding holding down a button so it appears as if he's moving and for the left button uh, the same goes he will go from the middle to left and then to far right middle left and then it, the, the loop will continue so sorry to break it to you he's not actually moving 
uh, well know <laughs> 2D characters are. They're the, the, the thing that's happening is images is being changed to give the perception of movement. So here's an old NES classic. Uh, this is Mega Man and uh, he has several different uh, images depending on what sort of state he is in. Uh, the dark uh, hair, my character, uh, this is his walking uh, and, uh, state. So this is the images I use when you are walking. Uh, I have an idle one as well, and a jumping one, and whatever. Uh, yeah, and you s can see here that the same goes for Mega Man. He have a idle, uh, Im uh, three images for his idle state. So when you're not touching any buttons, he will go from the middle image to the one to the left, and then to the far right, and then the middle, and go in a loop. And when you're pressing a button, let's say uh, the right key he will change into these three images. So it will still go on from the middle one and then to the left one and then to the far right one, middle one and go in a loop. So he also appears to be running and moving. And that's all it takes. And for his jumping one, it's uh, just one. So that's time saving, I guess. And it looks fine. And for his uh, shooting, he have a running and shooting one and I guess he have a stand still and shooting one as well, but yeah, uh, that's what I want you to do. Make uh, different images depending on what the character is doing. So, let's see it in action. Uh, so, when you're moving, you can see it changes between the three images, the uh, walking images. And when he's shooting, it changes between three different shooting images. And when you're standing still, it changes between three standing still. And when you're dashing, it changes between three dashing images. So it appears as if it's entering some sort of a shadow form. If I use an item, three different images of him throwing an item on, on himself. And so for the magic balls, he lifts his hand and shoot him. So all that's happening is that not that he's actually moving. It's that oopsie daisy. And now I'm in prison. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What happens is that the images are just being changed depending on the state um, the character is in. So I call for different images to change when certain things are happening. And here in Mega Man, he jumps, he uses that one image. And when he runs, he uses those three. And when he shoots, he uses those three. Just like you can see here and what I shown you earlier. So yeah, that's... Um how movement works so to speak and uh, some advice for me would be uh, if you don't know how to draw like super epic amazing characters like me uh, I'm just kidding uh, you can go with something simple don't be afraid to make NES looking characters they are usually very simple and uh, try to stay simple and don't be afraid uh, that your characters don't look good enough. Uh, Undertale made it, you know. If they did it, so can you. Well, him. Yeah, I think it was just one guy. And uh, yeah, just try and experiment a bit. Like me here, I, I draw stuff from hand, characters, before I insert them into the game. These are farm animals living in the good guy kingdom uh, of my game. I draw them by hand and then I try to create them later uh, inside GIMP which is free and I will leave a link in the description for a download. Um, yeah. The, but just keep in mind the things I've told you that the graphic needs to fit uh, one another and uh, now you know how the movement work. Uh, I will also make a tutorial on how to create new sprites in um, RPG Maker and use them in game. Um, so keep an eye open for that. Uh, like you can just create something in the character generator and edit them, but you could also draw the characters from scratch. And uh, I will give you some advice and tips in the future 
in some coming videos so that I can teach you and make you more comfortable at making this stuff uh, on your own. Like how these sprite sheets uh, work, for instance. Um, yeah, so now, uh, this character doesn't have uh, three images for his uh, running. Uh, this guy have six. Uh, so his movement uh, does look a lot more fluid. And that's because of its more images uh, in his movement, so it uh, will of course look like a smoother animation. Uh, and for GameMaker Studios, don't be afraid to use GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you use and create characters there. It does have a built-in uh, pixel draw characters or whatever system uh, inside of it, but I usually prefer to just draw them uh, in other softwares and then later uh, oops and then later implement them uh, into the engine um, similar to how I work uh, in RPG maker I just uh, create them in GIMP and then implement them later uh, yeah um, when you have six images I can show you how it looks like in, in, in game by the way uh, it will look a lot more modern than, uh, well, I got a lot of stuff opened uh, on my computer now, it might be a bit laggy. Uh, it looks a lot more modern than, uh, let's say, Mega Man or uh, A Broken Tail, because he have a lot more uh, <laughs> images, and more images makes him more realistic and more fluid and smoother and whatever, yeah. Uh, I would also want to give a shout out, even though I'm a nobody YouTuber, uh, to Heartbeast and Sean Spaulding uh, for their amazing uh, Game Maker Studio tutorials. Uh, if you've ever been interested in making games in that en engine, I really recommend you checking them out. Uh, this character here is uh, just an edited image from uh, Heartbeast's uh, uh, sprite, so it, uh, this is not mine. And for me to start explaining more in Game Maker Studios, as I said I would in the beginning, I'm sorry, I would have to make custom, well, uh, videos dedicated to that. I can't really start here, I guess. So, this might be a nice place to end the video. I want you to dislike if this is confusing or comment if there's something you didn't understand and tell me if there's anything i can make a video on or whatever and uh, subscribe uh, or like if you want to see more content i guess uh, i um i will make more videos on this uh, as i said and uh, yeah i hope to hear from you and goodbye